was going to kill himself. He was that terrified of being outside of the hospital that he was afraid he was actually going to do it. And he had to go into the hospital so that he could be supervised 24-7 to ensure that he didn't go through with the act. Growing up in poverty didn't make him depressed. Uh, being addicted to drugs didn't make him depressed. Going to jail for selling drugs did not make him depressed. Even being beaten in jail and having his spine broken did not make him depressed. It was after he won $2 million in a lawsuit against the prison. And then he spent all of that money on dogs and watches and pants and clothes and cars and giving it all away. That is when he got depressed. That is when he no longer wanted to live. Having and then losing is what makes us feel down. If he only lost $10, he wouldn't have been depressed. $100, $1,000. The more money you lose, the more depressed you become. $2 million was a lot of money to lose. It changed his expectations of life. And it is expectations that impact our emotional state the most. In Buddhism, they call this attachment. And they say that suffering comes from attachment. It's not your partner that's making you upset. It's the expectations that your partner is not meeting. It's not your life that's making you upset. It's the expectations that you have in life that are not being met. You can regulate your happiness level by modifying your expectations. The story in the Bible of the man who had everything and then lost it all by the name of Job. The way he dealt with it is he said, well, I came into this life naked as a baby with nothing at all, and now I have nothing at all again. It regulated his expe expectations, even though he lost so much. And originally, it caused him a lot of agony. If you recognize that you're experiencing some kind of suffering, try and identify what expectations are not being met in your life, in your marriage, in your job, in your relationships, with your health, then see if you can modify those expectations. And if you're successfully able to do this, you'll find that it will have a tremendous impact on your happiness, or at least on your absence of frustration.